welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress that has flay at the bottom and a rolled up color so the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two we're starting with the top part so once you fold it into two you're going to check that the width you have here is your bust measurement divided by four plus like 1.5 inch or one inch depending on the seam allowance you want to use and then the next thing you have to do is to check the shoulder to waist so the shoulder to waist i'm working with here is 17 plus one inch is going to be 18 so that's going to be the length of the upper bodies and then you're going to check the width you have so the width i'm working with is my bust measurement divided by four so that's 42 divided by four is uh, 10.5 i added extra one inch to it so that's why you have 11.5 here so now you're going to insert your shoulder measurement if you want you can cut the front and the back together and i think that's what we're going to do so i'm going to cut this out first just this rectangle and then fold it again so that we can cut the um, back so guys this is it here i've folded the fabric and this is the back panel here i've added the back panel so now we're just going to go ahead and insert our measurement so the first thing on this line which is my uh the line for the shoulder to the waist plus one inch i'm going to go ahead and also cut off this top part here so guys you're going to insert your shoulder measurement divided by two the shoulder i'm working with is 16 divided by two is going to be eight i'm going to go ahead and mark it here and then you're going to insert your armhole so i'm working with 20 divided by two is 10 so i'm going to mark that here connect it this way and then come up here and mark one inch for the shoulder slope insert my neckline i'm using three inches of neckline and if you notice all the measurements i'm marking are starting from this side of the front not including my 1.5 inch of zip allowance for the back panel so now you're going to connect this one inch here to the top part of the shoulder and then you're also going to give it your armhole curve okay and then after that you're going to insert your bust measurement but my bust measurement is already the width of this here my bust measurement divided by four plus one inch but then at the waist I'm working with waist of 30, 36 divided by 4 is going to be 9. I'm going to add extra 2 inches to it because I'm going to be adding that. So 1 inch for my darting and 1 inch for the side seam. So I'm going to mark it at 11. Connect it up to this point here. And then you're going to also mark your front dart. So the dart I'm working with is like the nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2 which is 4. I'm going to mark that here and then connect it up. So my dart is going to stop one inch before my bust. So that's somewhere here. And then you're going to mark half an inch on each side. Connect it up this way. So that's basically my front dart. I'm going to notch it so that I can be able to transfer it. Also guys, at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Cut down this part and cut the shoulder slope. So guys, for my front neckline, I'm going to be using 3 inches. I've cut that. I've marked it now. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to separate it from the back. And then for my back neckline, it's going to be a v-neck. So it depends on you how low you want it to be. So I might just make mine like 7 inches down here. And then I'm going to connect it all the way down this way. This is the back neckline. I'm also going to cut it out so guys at, at this point you also have to cut your bottom part so how you're going to determine you can use how you're going to determine the width of the flay you use at the bottom is you can do your waist measurement times three or times 2.5 so guys if you want to determine the length then you just have to subtract your shoulder to waist from the full length of the dress and whatever you get you're going to add 1.5 to it so that's how you're going to determine the length the weight divide you can times your waist measurement by three if you want more gather and 2.5 if you want less gather so that's basically it i've already gone ahead and cut out mine here so this is what i'm using for my pleat here so i'm just going to go ahead and fold the edge and then i'm also going to dart my bodies and don't forget to um, on this your sleeve um, um, armhole side you're going to go ahead halfway through this here for me it's nine inches halfway through is 4.5 come in here by half an inch connect this top part in a straight line to the top and then connect it with the curve to the bottom because your front armhole is supposed to be deeper than the back one so at this point now i'm going to go ahead and cut this out 
so guys to cut my my sleeve all you have to check is the length you want make sure it's the length of your sleeve so i want my sleeve to be about 9.5 i added 1.5 to it that's why i have 11 here so one inch is going to be to fold the edge of the sleeve and half an inch is to join the top part so i'm going to go ahead and mark this at this point here at four inches down here connect this top part to this here find out the center 11 is what I have here. Half of 11 is going to be 4.5. So I'm going to connect it with the curve below and the curve above here. And then you're going to check the width, the sleeve width, whatever you're working with for this bottom part. So I'm working with 15 divided by 2 is going to be um, 7.5. I'm going to mark that. And then I'm also going to add 1 inch for my seam allowance and then connect it to this point. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut my sleeve. So guys, I've also gone ahead and notched the top part. And as you can see, my sleeve is on a fold. So when I open it up, that's what it looks like. And I also cut two at a time. And guys, don't remember the picture on the thumbnail has a shorter sleeve, but you can make yours longer. Mine is also short. So I'm going to go ahead and couple all my things together and then we'll come back for the neckline. I've gone ahead and picked my dart and I also joined my sleeve as you can see my dress is almost done so the main purpose of this video is just to show you guys the neck the neckline how to make the uh, road neckline and that's what we're about to do so as you can see I've picked my dart here I've also picked the one for the back and I've added my sleeve and joined the bottom so once when, when you want to join the bottom just keep on pleating it this way you just fold your fabric as you join it because that's the one on the thumbnail but if you want you can use gather you can use a box split you can use circle for the bottom part whichever one you want to use that's okay so but for the neckline now all i have to do because as you can see this is what it looks like i'm going to flip it and turn it around this way the thing you have to do is to tilt your fabric this way you see how i folded it my two zip allowance are at the back the neckline is touching each other and then this is the front this will help me to measure out the neckline i'm working with so now the next thing you have to do is you're going to take your tape you're going to avoid your seam allowance remember i have about 1.5 for my zip allowance at the back so i'm going to avoid that part and start after my zip allowance because this color is not going to go, be going into your zipper um your zipper so now i'm going to start from this notch if you see there's a notch i made here to know where my zip uh, stops my zip allowance stops so i'm going to start from that point and measure around the neckline so you're going to measure it round all the way to the front and then for me i have about 12 inches for my neckline so now i'm going to start i'm going to mark it out on the pattern paper so guys i'm going to be using this as my pattern paper so the next thing i'm going to do is just to mark i want my color to be five inches it depends on you you can make yours shorter so i'm marking distance of five inches from this edge here to this top part here i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to connect it in a straight line so guys now that i've marked that uh five uh five inches line so i'm going to mark whatever you got from your neckline so for me i got 12 inches so i'm going to mark that here this part here is going to be cut on a fold so this part is going to be on a fold right so i'm going to mark this line down all the way to the end and then i'm going to extend it you can extend yours by three inches or two inches it depends on you how the angle how you want it to be so i'm going to use um three inches for my and then I'm going to connect it this way from that point here to this edge so after that I'm going to cut it this is basically my color so I'm going to cut this out now so guys this is my color here uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on this brown fabric because my main fabric will not be enough but you can use the same fabric um, as your uh, your akara fabric that you're using for the dress you can use it for the color but i'm going to be using a different col um, color for my so all you have to do is this is going to be cut on a bias so you're going to take it this way and then you're going to fold it this way right and then you're going to fold it again this way and now you're going to take your color and place it here to cut it out remember like i said this is going to be on a fold so i'm going to take it this way if you want you can still add seam allowance here if, if like you can add like half an inch seam allowance to join it or if you want you can take out your seam allowance from that five inches of length just know that it will shorten it so whichever one you want to do i think i'm just going to use exactly this because my fabric will not be enough so i'm going to go ahead now and cut this here from this point all the way down and then cut it into this angle 
so guys now that I've, I've cut this out i'm going to remove the pattern paper so you see this is going to be our color all you have to do now is to flip it to the wrong side so close this edge here so close this one and then flip it inside out what it looks like so at this point now i've iron i've sewn it and flipped it inside out so you see i notched the center so that so guys i'm also going to notch the center front of my dress so that way i can be able to join it so this is the center front of the top so now i'm going to take the two of them from the inside i'm going to attach it so this way i'm going to sew it down so i'm going to place it inside of this here not this notch to this notch and then i'm going to sew it inside so that once i'm done this is going to flip out on top this way so guys you see from the inside is where you attach it so now once you're done it's going to fold over this way you see it's going to fold over this way and overlap to the back like this but before that what i'm going to do now is this neckline here this whole stitch that i have here now i'm going to use bias to cover it and sew it down so basically i'm going to take a small strip of fabric that is about like one inch i'm going to join it this way and then i'm going to sew it down and sew it down to the the, the cloths not facing up so once you join your bias you're going to fold it down this way so that once if the wind blows and this goes up the neckline that you'll be seeing will be neat so i'm going to use this particular fabric as my bias finish it up to the back and then i'm going to attach my zip what we have here i finished it so you see how i use bias to fold the edge and then made it to face towards the fabric not towards the color so you see what this looks like right now and this is the bottom of the dress it's not it's just like up to the knee it's no longer than that and this is the back so all you have to do is just to add your zip i've not added my zip i'll add that later but right now you see the color doesn't go into your zip it stops before the zip so this is what it looks like and also you can bring down the color like you can do eight inches you can bring it down lower than that but remember i used like 6.5 or so so that's why the neck so that's why the neckline for mine is higher this way so all you have to do is if you want you can bring yours down lower than this if you guys want a detailed tutorial on how to do this road color or if you have any question um, please leave it in the comment section thank you guys so much for your time and like share and subscribe bye